Dr. Frank McGeorge is working to bring you the most up-to-date, accurate information about coronavirus. Tonight, tackling another round of questions for us. First up, a, a viewer asks here, Frank, uh, after you have had the virus, does it remain dormant in your body for the rest of your life as some other viruses we know do? Well, Devin, that's an important question. No, it doesn't. In fact, most of us will develop immunity to the COVID-19 virus after an infection. And that's actually why some researchers believe that convalescent plasma of people that recovered might have antibodies that could be infused into sicker patients to help their immune system. The big question that we don't have an answer to at this point, though, is how long our immunity would last. It probably would not be lifelong. Yeah. That's the only yeah. thing. Well, we've got a, a question that we wanted to ask to you from a viewer is coronavirus airborne as well can you contract it from just you know being outside and nobody else being around you well yes the virus can be transmitted by droplets and finer aerosol in shorter distances and that's why we emphasize a six foot distance interval between people. Now, being outdoors where the air is constantly moving and being replaced by fresh air is even safer. It's a similar idea to why we use negative pressure rooms in the hospital. It pulls potentially contaminated air out of the room so it does not enter other areas. And of course, the best ventilation in the world is fresh air. Yeah. Related question here from Shelby Township. I've been walking outside. Occasionally I pass others who are uh, walking or running on the same piece of street or sidewalk. I give wide berth, it says. However, I return to walking on the same path, which means I'll be walking right into where they just were. So if they're contagious but not showing symptoms, how long would a droplet remain in the air? Well, so the droplets don't remain in the air that long, especially if they're walking outside. Any light breeze will quickly move them out of the air. So I wouldn't worry about walking outdoors unless someone is very close to you within six feet and actively showing symptoms. Yeah, good question. And we appreciate all the questions from our viewers. Yeah. Keep them coming. All right, Frank, we'll be right back.